pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Coppin Academy seniors, it's Mayor Brandon Scott. If anyone knows a thing or two about perseverance, it's each of you. We know that this has been a trying year for all of us, but you have sacrificed and adapted, and finally, you will bear the fruits of your labor as you prepare for graduation. As a proud graduate of City Schools, I want to assure you that you're prepared for anything and designed and destined for greatness. I encourage you to cherish these last few moments before you embark on your next journey and know that I am so proud of all of you. Continue the great work and don't forget to give back to the community and support systems that got you here. Best of luck, Coppin Seniors. I look forward to seeing what you do next. Coppin Academy's graduation. Graduates, I want to say congratulations to each and every one of you. We're ready to get started. I'd like to introduce Jemiah Price, our class salutatorian. This is too high. I'm scared, y'all. All right. Okay. 
My name is Amaya Price, and I'm in the Coffin Academy class of Salisbury. So all of our distinguished guests, parents, family, and friends, and the graduates, and to the outstanding class of 2021. <laughs> if we have any Coffin State University faculty or staff, government officials, Baltimore City School officials, we would like to say thank you for taking the time out of your schedule to celebrate this special day with us. I would like to acknowledge our senior advisors and teachers who have worked tirelessly to ensure our last weeks in high school have been enjoyable and memorable. Please give us a round of applause to Ms. Bento, Ms. Vincent, Dr. M, Ms. Tobias. Please also give a round of applause to Dr. Nene, Ms. Tyrell, for their unwavering efforts and dedication to helping us to enter college, a career, or the military. We truly must say thank you to our parents, aunts, uncles, grandparents, cousins, and friends who have joined us today. All of your love and support is appreciated more than I can express here today. We sure have been through a lot this past year, dealing with the pandemic and virtual learning, Bert. But we made it our high school graduation, and we have deserved congratulations for our hard work, determination, and being a complicated scholar. However, we must remember that this is just the beginning, and there's hard work more to be done. I'm so proud of us and wish everyone good luck with our endeavors. Yes, we did a complicated class of 2021, straight out of quarantine. We will now have a message from our principal, Ms. Allman. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. How is everyone today? We are in person for our graduation. Congratulations to you. Thank you to City Schools for pre persevering to allow this to happen for our young people and for the families. We know how special this commencement is, graduation, but we know we have so many more that will occur. I just want to say welcome to everyone for coming out to support these young people as they have had quite a year. Since March of 20, I have to always look at the date, March of 2020, we've not had a normal school year. But what I do have to say about these young people is that they did not forget what has been taught to them, what is expected of them, and they persevered, they rose to the occasion, they had ups and downs, but they still made it through. Let's give a round of applause, very warm, for this class. I'm so very proud of them. I'm very proud of the faculty and staff that I am blessed to serve. Thank you for your hard work and your dedication to allow these young people to make it to here today. Thank you to Ms. Bentel leading her team and making sure that this day looks the way it does, feels the way it does, and we're able to celebrate such a, such a monumental occasion. I just wanna leave you with a thought, young people, and families as well. We know that this pandemic has been very traumatic. There's been lots of sadness, loss, change, uncertainty. But what we have to remember, no matter if you believe in God or the universe or a higher power, I want you to take from this pandemic the opportunity and the thought that there's always something to learn, that change can occur. There were so many no's that they said about education, that they said about how we have to police, how we have to do things in our government. But this pandemic showed that you can actually do things that are not the norm. That phrase of, but that's how we used to do it, that's how we've always done it, should not be in your vocabulary. This pandemic has shown that we're able to rise, that we're able to change, that we're able to do things differently. And guess what? Folks are okay. Folks are okay. I want you young people to understand that life will always have some kind of trauma, some kind of stress. It's always going to be something that you have to contend with. But the key is, how are you going to handle it? How are you going to use your relationships, your friends to get you through? How are you going to take care of your mind and your body as you go through that trauma and stress? Just know that it's a season. And this season that we're in now is a season, even though it was such a hard time, this season that we're in now is a season of congratulations, a season of happiness, and a season of something that's, again, going to be uncertain. I love each and every one of you. I'm so pleased that you've made it and that you're here. 
I want you to smile and take this in. If you have your cell phones, take a selfie. I won't give you detention for having your cell phones out. It's okay. Go on and take your selfie. Take your selfie if you have your phones. No more box. <laughs> no more Oxfords and ties unless you're doing something else. But again, congratulations to each of you. I love you. I'm very proud of you. And thank you, parents, for trusting us, trusting us with your precious cargo to lead them. And I hope that we've been able to do what you expected and more. Thank you, everyone. At this time, as we have, I always say I need a script. This pandemic has taken my memory a little bit. I always have to write it down. Thank you. <laughs> At this time, I would like for you to watch the screen as we will have our commencement speaker, Mr. Sadiq Ali. Thank you. Peace and blessings. Class of 2021, what? Make some noise for yourself. Like, man, now nah, for real, make some noise. Like, we got to, like, really pause for that for a second. Make some noise. Like, get louder. Get louder. Make some noise for yourself. Audience, crowd, anybody that can hear this, make some noise for the class of 2021. So the first thing I want to say is just how proud I am of this class for making it. Like, this has been a wild couple of months, right? Like, 2020, like, let's forget that happened. 2021, it's a brand new deal. It's a brand new bag. But we got to proceed. And I'm so proud of y'all for getting to this point. The second thing that I want to say is that you all have learned so much. And I just have so much love and admiration for this generation of young people, young leaders and scholars. Because as they say, one should never, ever waste a good crisis. And in other words, that simply means that there is a silver lining to everything that you all have experienced. And I tell you, you might not see it right now, but trust me, it's there. So I just want to tell you all how much love and admiration and again, how proud I am of each and every one of you all class of 2021. The other thing I want to say real quickly is, listen, I only got a couple of minutes. So as they say, I'm not going to be long, but I will be strong because I know y'all got cookouts to hit. Y'all got restaurant reservations and all that good stuff. And the only thing I ask is that, I'm gonna need somebody to save me a plate. So like, can somebody hit my phone? No, like I'm gonna text you out of my, just 443, no, I'm just joking. But have a good time with all the cookouts and restaurant reservations, et cetera. So listen, I essentially today for y'all have one core and key message. And I admit that uh, this message is a little bit selfish. It's a little bit selfish because I am a citizen of Baltimore City, just like all of you all are. I'm a proud father, I'm a husband, and I take those roles very, very seriously, which is why this advice, this, these, these questions I'm gonna ask you all are so important and so critical because this world needs you all. And again, y'all have just come through something unprecedented. I know that's everybody's favorite word, unprecedented calamity, unparalleled, but for real, we serious. We've never seen anything like what just happened. So you all, by making it through, by making it to this point, have everything that it takes to level up, which is why this advice, my core message for y'all is so important. So I want y'all to get into the edge of y'all seats real quick. because I tell you, I only got a couple of minutes and listen carefully to what I have to say to y'all. My message for y'all today, as y'all graduate class of 2021 is this, go big, stop playing small. I'm going to say that again. My advice to you from today onward into your future, I don't care where you end up or what you're asked to do or called to do. Go big. Stop playing small. You were not designed to play small. You know how I know? Because the creator created you. Go big. Stop making yourself small to make other people feel big. You are a giant. And the reason that I say it's a selfish message for me and now all the adults, all the old people, all y'all teachers, I ain't calling y'all teachers old, but some of them got, got y'all by a couple years. But us old folks, I'm going to call myself old, it's a selfish message because we need y'all to go big. This city needs you to stop thinking small. Your family, your community, we got levels to move up, y'all. 
This city is in turmoil right now. And the only ones that can really stop it and can really help us take this thing to the next level is y'all. But you never will never, ever, ever, that's a double like triple negative, you will never, not never, get to where you're supposed to get by playing small. So I say it one more time, go big. You see, this lesson has been, you know, something that's been on my mind for these last couple of, of years and months. You see, like some of you all, I lost my father. My father passed away. Um, as a matter of fact, this year was the 10 year anniversary of my dad. And my dad was, uh, was a titan. He did a lot of amazing things and I'm following in his footsteps um, to a very, very large extent today. But what I will tell you is that when my dad passed, he still had dreams. You know who I know? Because he told me on his deathbed, he told me as much, that there were still things yet left for him to accomplish. You see, I want it to be my goal, just like it is yours, hopefully, to not die with any potential left in you. To pass on to the next round with no gas left in the tank. Because the graveyard, ladies and gentlemen, is full of dreams deferred and a whole bunch of dreams and wishes that never came true. Because sometimes we tend to play small because we're scared. We think it won't work. Folks are telling us, right? They chirping in our ear all the time. They're encouraging us to shrink instead of grow to a fullest extent and to maximize all our potential. So one more time I say, go big, stop waiting for an invitation. And if you were class of 2021, this is your invitation. I invite you personally to think big. I'm gonna give y'all three keys to thinking big right quick, just to help it sink in a little bit. And I want you to think through each one of these keys and ask yourself, does it make sense? Have I seen this before? Am I moving in the right direction? Key number one is this. These are keys, three keys to thinking big. Key number one is this. Use your voice for big stuff. Some of us, I know y'all know, I know this ain't y'all, but you know somebody like this, they use their voice for tiny stuff, small stuff, petty stuff. He say, she say. Who messing with who? Who girl got took? Who man got took? What's the latest tea on the show? My homie, he loved Black Ink. I never seen an episode of it. Nothing against Black Ink, but I got bigger things to think about. I got bigger dreams to dream, so I ain't on Black Ink. Shout out to Black Ink Crew, though. Use your voice for big stuff. I, I would say another word, but this is being recorded, and y'all, y'all mamas and grandmothers is here, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Use your voice for big stuff. Stuff like standing up for those that can't stand up for themselves. You see somebody getting bullied, stand up, use your voice. How about for social justice? This generation, y'all are making it happen right now. Protests, racial justice movements, Black Lives Matter. Y'all know what I'm talking about? This is from young people. Use your voice for big stuff. Advocating for self. Somebody shortchange you or don't give you what you need or what you want. You better use your voice to advocate for self, to make sure you get what you deserve. Because guess what? In life, you don't get what, what you're supposed to get. You don't get what is due to you. You get what you ask for. You get what you negotiate. Number two, second key is set big goals. Again, that's big, B-I-G, set big goals. See, one of my mentors told me one time, right, that if your goal doesn't scare you, then it ain't big enough. Here's another one. If your goal doesn't include other people or you can accomplish it by yourself, your goal too small. Set big goals that terrify you, that scare you, that keep you up at night, keep you excited about bringing them to life, bringing them to fruition. Set big goals, y'all. There's a book. It talks about, that was written some years ago, that talks about big, hairy, audacious goals. Somebody Google that. But set big goals, goals that scare you and that involve your team. Bring somebody along with you. Number three, the third key. 
for thinking big and going big is this. Surround yourself with people that dream big too. See, one of my favorite quotes from Eleanor Roosevelt, she said, small minds discuss other people. Average minds, right, discuss events. But great minds, big minds, visionaries, big thinkers, they talk about the future. They talk about planning. So when you surround yourself with other people that's visionaries too, you got no choice but to step up and to step out and into your greatness. Surround yourself with folks that speak life into you, not those doubters, those naysayers, those, those, those subliminal tweeters. Y'all know who I'm talking about? Those folks that always got something negative to say. Oh, yeah, you look good, but. Oh, that was cool, but. Y'all know them people, but folks. Get rid of them butt folks in your life and find some winners and some leaders that's doing big, y'all know what I'm talking about, that's doing big stuff and get in a circle with them. Because what they say is that if you got four broke friends, you bound to be number five. You got four friends that's winning, you bound to be number five. So choose your company and your circle wisely. Class of 2021, we riding on you. So listen, we almost out of time. So we want to get out of here on a little bit of a poetic note, right? So I want to ask y'all a series of questions real quick before, before we peace out on this thing, class of 2021. Like I said, so y'all go get them plates. But the question I want to ask is, do you have what it takes to outlast and to push past all the vials and trash? Do you have the heart to reach Beyond what the teacher teach and the preacher preach. To say bye-bye to all the petty, the messy, the negativity in order for you to be who you supposed to be. Think big. That's B-I-G. That's business instead of game. That's brothers, shout out to my brothers, brothers into greatness. But before I go, I'm bringing in God, the God in you, the God in me. Will you be who you supposed to be? Because B.I.G., blackness is greatness, is genius. So I want to ask you. Are you going to be who you supposed to be? Because we need you. I need you. This city needs you to think big and to never, ever stop doing it. Peace out, y'all. Sadiq Ali. Ellington Class of 2021, Coffin Academy, Greater is Coming. If it had not been for the shaking, I never would have been ready for the making. If it had not been for the beating, I would have never knew how anointed I would be If it had not been for the pressing I wouldn't be able to walk into my destiny He's preparing me I'm
feel a pressing in the spirit Prepare me for greater If it had not been for the shaking I never would have been ready for the making If it had not been for the beating I would have never knew how anointed I would be If it had not been for the pressing I wouldn't be able to walk into my destiny Preparing me Thank you, Miss Ellington. She will be going to Russ College on a uh, volleyball scholarship and academic scholarship. Thank you. At this time, I would like to present to you our valedictorian, Shayla Monroe, and salutatorian, Jemiah Price. We have a special presentation for them. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Let's give them a round of applause for their hard work, dedication. Hold it up for mom and dad to get the picture. Do you need your speech? Hold it up for mom and dad to get a nice picture. Congratulations. Good morning, parents, teachers, guests, family, Coppin Academy administration, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2021. My name is Shayla Monroe, and I'm thrilled to be here today speaking to you all as the valedictorian of the class of 2021. I would like to start off by congratulating each and every one of you who've made it this far during one of the most unprecedented times in history. In such a short amount of time, we witnessed social uprising, a global pandemic, political unrest, and we even adjusted to virtual learning due to the impact of COVID-19. Yet we remained steadfast and did not allow any of that to keep us from achieving our end goal, graduating. Having to endure the start of our senior year virtually was a culture shock for all of us. Not even Instagram or TikTok could have, pre could have prepared us for what we have in store for. Our fight and drive to win shows us just how courageous and determined we were to complete one of our biggest scholastic achievements ever, receiving our high school diploma. Amidst it all, we finished, this, we finished the year strong and grew immensely to get where we are today. Each of us is getting ready to embark on this new journey ahead that's going to be full of many emotions. Doubt, 
stress, excitement, and even fear. But I am confident that we will be able to take on whatever life throws our way because Coppin Academy has built us for this. There's an old phrase that says, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. I want you, to, I want you all to keep that little phrase in mind, no matter how cringy it may be, because throughout our life, we'll start to see that we have to make the best out of every situation instead of dwelling on it. My advice to each of you is to be prepared for the unpreparable. Always remember that it is not how about that it is not about how you start, but how you finish. As you reflect, as I reflect on my start at Coppin Academy High School, I remember so vividly how eager and anxiety stricken I was. Having both my older sister Tashira and late brother Rennie. Having my late brother Rennie attend and graduate. Graduate from Coppin Academy. I felt like I've been attending Coppin Academy for years. Still, the idea of starting this journey on my own was scary for me. I remember my mother saying that Coppin Academy would be a great school for me to attend because of class sizing and the intimate learning environment. And yes, it was true. I was able to adjust super quickly and meet new people on the first day, which I didn't expect because of how quiet and shy I was. Everyone, just like me, didn't know what to expect, but was ready to get started on this new pathway. Now we're seniors, and it feels just like yesterday where we were figuring out our way to our classes and trying to settle into this new environment. Every piece of advice we've been given during our time at Coppin Academy has helped shape us into who we are today. From being told about getting assignments done on time, to prioritizing academic needs, and even being ready for the real world, all while doing the things we love to do in school that has greatly impacted our lives. Being a member of the class of 2021, which is of course the best class, to graduate from Coppin Academy is such a bittersweet moment. All of the memories we made throughout the years start to bombard me as I see so many familiar faces. I'll never forget, I'll never forget. I'll never forget always hearing stories of students being locked inside the bathrooms thinking it'll never happen to me until it did. <laughs> They're finally getting out talking to my friends like, tell me why Red just locked me in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> then hearing the laughter as I left or seeing the looks on everyone's faces when no one went to speed walk to class when we heard the keys throughout the halls. <laughs> Lastly, seeing our class have fun and interact when we had school activities. Those are the moments I'll cherish the most and will never forget. Our class is truly one of a kind and full of different talents, and I wish nothing but the absolute best for each and every one of you. After this, go have lots of fun and go celebrate some more because it's our day and we deserve every last bit of happiness. Class of 2021 out. Thank you. Ah, my shoes. They have me working today. <laughs> this is great. At this time, this is getting closer and closer, young people, to that plate that Mr. Uh, Sadiq was talking about. This is the recommendation of the class of 2021. In recognition of the records and achievements of the students of this class, and by virtue of the authority vested in me as principal of Coppin Academy, I certify that these students have met the graduation requirements of both the Baltimore City Public Schools and the Maryland State Department of Education. It is with great pleasure I recommend to you the graduating class of 2021. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now have the honor of presenting to you Ms. Tina Hike Hubbard, Chief of Communications, Engagement and Enrollment for Baltimore City Schools. This is the best part, right? In recognition of the certification of these graduates, the recommendation of the principal, and the acknowledgement of the executive director of principal support, and by virtue of the authority vested in me, 
by the Baltimore City Board of School Commissioners as Chief of Communications, Engagement, and Enrollment for Baltimore City Schools. I take the pleasure in accepting the graduating class for 2021 for the conferring of their high school diplomas. You all are forged in fire. Congratulations, all of you. In recognition of the certification of these graduates, the recommendation of the principal and acknowledgement of the chief of communications, engagement and enrollment, and by virtue of the authority vested in me as commissioner of Baltimore City Public School, I, Dr. Michelle harris Medema, I take great pleasure in accepting the graduating class of 2021 for the conferring of high school diplomas and certificates. Okay, I wish I had a drum roll. That time is here. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready. I would like for you all to come up on the stairs to my left. Stairs over here. The cameraman will be over here to my right. Okay, I would like the first 15 students to stand. One through 15, please stand. I'm going to give a little time in between names. We have some time. So that will give people an opportunity to take pictures from the Tron, if you like. All right, let's get started. And congratulations again, Ayana Alexander. Jayla Almond. <laughs> Jarrell Almond. Tiana Archer. Yes, I do. I think we're a little behind. Tiana's coming up now. William Barnett. Isaiah Batts. Sean Berry. Malik Body. Sasha Brock. <laughs> Trinity Brunt. Marvin Burrell. Jasmine Campbell. Oh 
Sheldon Campbell. <laughs> fix, fix your kente cloth. Shine Collins. Kayla Condi. <laughs> Fix your kente. Aries Early. Divine Ellington. <laughs> Ronnie Epps. Stormy Fields. Anaya Free. <laughs> Justice Garrett. Tanae Gibbs. <laughs> Ayana Hall. <laughs> Lamar Hill. Anaya Hills. <laughs> Naya Hudson. <laughs> Antonio Jenkins. Alicia Jones. Yeah. <laughs> Darrell Keith. <laughs> Get your picture. Get your picture. Devin Lavoyle. <laughs> Jalen Lemon. Mark McBroom. Yeah. 
Mark has a full beard now. Wow, everybody's growing up. <laughs> Justin McCor. Nakaya Miller. Jaden Money. Shayla Monroe. <laughs> to Nyamas. To be young, <laughs> Deneen Peacock. Jemiah Price. Aaron Price. Congratulations. Jayla Purvis. Precious Raheem. Jaquan Randall. Oh, my hat coming out. Hey, hey, Miss Dental. <laughs> hey, Ma, I want to give you a big shout out, Ma. I love you. <laughs> Fix your kente cloth. <laughs> Songbird Jalen Rains. <laughs> so I said, give him the mic. <laughs> I wish we had time to give him the mic. <laughs> Ronaldo Rodriguez. Janiah Rogers. Celeste Salmon. How are you, Ma? With your ring? Yeah. We did it! <laughs> Taylor Sawyer. Anna Scott. Thank you. Joshua Scott. Khalil C. Two Butler. Fix your kente cloth.
Treshana Sewell. Picture Kinta Daniel Shipley. Congratulations. Chastity Soto. Jamar Tillman. <laughs> Fix your can take off. Rachel Ume Cheruba. Last but not least, you got to do it right, Nashe Weaver. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2020. This is the part. I'll ask for all the graduates to stand at this time. <laughs> this is the time that we are giving a small ceremony to let them know that they are official. At this time, we will be able to turn our tassels from the right to the left. You may do that. Congratulations. You're good, you're done, congratulations. At this time, we'll ask for the students to exit, the parents to stay in the stands until all of the students exit. One through 30. One through 30, you may exit and then follow next after that. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Parents, please stay in the stands until the students exit so that we can have our next graduation as lovely as this one was. Thank you for following directions. Okay, now we could have 31 through 60. Congratulations again, graduates. Fifth time, hmm, wish they get off my line. 
dreams when my eyes close I see myself living life like it's golden Uh, like that chill skyline Like the McDonald's sign Pray to God for a sign I've been stuck on rewind Life's a challenge sometimes Wanna give up but I Know I'm one of a kind Now I'm ready for battle So bring out the troops I pull out the suit To me superheroes Look like me and you Ain't nobody perfect Cause every day 